Why do I feel so alone? Like everybody passing through the studio is in character as if he acting out a movie role. Talking bullshit as if it was for you to know. And I'm here with Steven Peterson, who just won September's Fight of the Month and Submission of the Month with your win over Cody Williams. Uh, I wouldn't say it was the toughest fight. Definitely had a tough start to that fight. Um, took it on two weeks' notice and, uh, you know, no excuses, but. Uh, you know, he, he took the fight at the right time. Uh, I just came off another fight. I was, uh, was not expecting to fight two weeks later and then I fought a striker rather than a wrestler and I've been training for a wrestler, but you know, it all came together. Uh, got rocked a couple times, pulled it together, went back to the game plan like I should have in the first place and ended up with the W. You had just come off a, a win over Matt Hobart, which some people are saying are, is controversial. There's no animosity with you in, in Hobart's camp, correct? It was, you know, the people refer to the antics, but it was more of a spur of the moment type deal, right? Adrenaline? Right, yeah. Um, I was really, you know, I was looking forward to having a war. And uh, after it ended quickly, uh, you know, at first I was like, whatever, it's over. But uh, then I started hearing the booze and I started getting the emotions worked up. And it's like, you know, I trained hard for it. So uh, in the, the little, Cry baby face was more towards the, the fans uh, and how they were crying about the outcome of the fight rather than uh, it towards him. But it was it was seen that way, and uh, you know maybe I should have went about it a little bit different. But you know it happened, and uh, you know it makes for a really good rematch. Do you think people kind of misunderstand you and, and look at you uh, or, or have this preconceived notion of, of how you are? And don't know the real Steven Peterson? Yeah, they don't know the real Steven Peterson yet, but they're about to get to know me. You know, uh, now I'm breaking on the mainstream. I, uh, I'm, a, I'm a family man right now, and uh, this is what I do for work. Uh, watch my kid during the day. He comes with me to train in the morning. Uh, his mom gets home from work. She takes him and go back to the gym training at night. And that's what I do five so, days a week. So how, how has being married and, and having a child changed your life? Immensely, uh, I gotta grow up, be more mature. Uh, it's not just about me anymore. I got a kid I gotta take care of. You know, he's he's the most important thing right now. So uh, this is this is for him. You know, it, at first it was for me. I wanted all the glory and all that. Now it's just to give him a better life and uh, hopefully teach him some hard work and discipline. All right, now you have a fight coming up, the rematch with Hobar. Uh, legacy in December. Uh, what can fans expect uh, going into that fight? Uh, uh, will the stakes be higher now that it's a rematch? Oh yeah, there's definitely a, it's going to be a lot more intensity in the air now that it's a rematch and uh, you know you could say there's some black, bad blood. Uh, it, the way it ended and all, you know, it was his first loss. I'm sure that's pretty devastating. Um, you know, he's going to come back tough and I'm going to be ready for him. So it should be should be a fight to watch. All right, and so what can fight fans expect then on December 14th? They can expect me coming out like an animal, like a bat out of hell, on beast mode. And just destroying him. Uh, I'm gonna go for that other arm, break his right arm this time. You know, it's part of the game. All right, man, so in closing, any shout outs, uh, anyone you'd like to thank uh, who helped you along your journey and, and helped you be uh, the fighter that you are? Yeah, I wanna shout out to to Marcus, uh, he's got me over here at the Gracie Gym. Uh, excellent training over here, great jits. And uh, Arjan Carlos Moreno, he's been stuck with me all this time. Uh, invested countless hours into me, worked more time, and uh, just getting me up to par, getting me ready for these fights. If I need that, I had a talk with my uncle and he agreed that my privacy about the only thing I need back. But it's hard to think of them polite flows When Stefano Pilato suits all your night clothes